wait till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us If love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I Mm. Now that mm, is how you make a steak, only using fry light. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. So we've had another colourful meal in today's video, starting it off with just some steak and rice, nice and simple, kind of plain old school bodybuilder kind of thing. But we don't have any greens because um, I couldn't be bothered. I'll have my fair share of them tonight. So we are going to be training, we are going to be doing all sorts in today's video, so drop it a like if you're looking forward to it, and let's get it going. And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Oh, okay, so, um, my bad. I forgot that the home gym was kind of in a cleaning process and that this is in the middle of nowhere. Um, I was, uh, I was gonna train legs, but I tried deadlifts for the first time in like ever yesterday. Um, and my legs were aching from that, so I might wait, I was gonna wait until tomorrow anyway. Now I can't use the leg press slash hat squat machine. So I think I'm going to have an impromptu everything workout. Yeah, let's go. You know, people always ask me some pros and cons of having a home gym and some of the pros are that you get to do your own thing, you don't have to ask how many sets a person has left, you don't have to ask anything, you can sort of just do your own session as and when you like it, but one of the pros would be you also have to clean it yourself and sometimes you forget that you left the cleaning halfway through. Okay. Decision. I think what I've decided I'm going to do is just a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of sets on legs. I'm going to pyramid up on leg press, single leg, double leg, whatever. Just do loads and just completely gas my legs. We'll throw in like some dumbbell bench press in there. We're just, we're just going to have fun with today's workout um, because why not? Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. And our So many people skip leg day, and I just don't, I just don't get it. Like I've only done three, four sets, but I'm knackered. I'm, I'm panting. I'm, I'm out of breath. You know, more so than a chest workout. But I feel great. Like the endorphins. I, I think it's just because it's 50% of your body. It's the lower half, half of your body in total, right? I don't know whether it's that, but like 50% of your body, like the endorphins flowing, and like. I love nothing more than putting a heavy bar on my back and squatting it. You feel like a right badass, but like that's just that's not happening today. But today is probably the only day that I would train legs that I wouldn't squat. But we're just going to overload on everything, man. Took a couple of exercises in there for fun, just because we're having fun with today's session. Did you know that? I mentioned that we're having fun. <laughs> Oh. 
That's a lot of reps. Oh. If you guys remember, in the video before last, I talked a little bit about mixing up my training, and I've done that even more in this, this session. Through no fault of my own, really, it wasn't intentional, but I'll, you know, I thought, <laughs> sod it, why not? Another reason why is because I've been taking these classes at work, right, and I've been asking people to do exercises that I either haven't done in years, or very rarely do myself. Implementing something like goblet squats, which I'm about to do, actually puts me kind of in the same boat as them. I can know exactly how they're feeling, having an intense session with minimal rest, and you know, put myself in that position. Um, and I think that definitely when you're coaching or when you're teaching something like that, um, it makes a big difference if you know what it's like from their perspective. So um, it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to be mixing my training up with. Just doing random, completely different things that I would never normally do. Just throwing them in there. Seeing how my body reacts for one. See how it feels for two. Know how I can implement it in my own training sessions and stuff like that for three. So, win-win really. I'm done in, man. Doesn't matter though, because we're smiling. We're having fun. Doesn't look like it, but I actually am. I'm, I'm having a ball. It's a weird one, you know, I've always had Big legs, I've always had like big rugby legs I call them, but they've never really been defined and I'm only just really starting to see the definition and as you can see, they're pretty freaking hairy, so I think if I actually like trim them or shave them or something, then the definition will come out a little bit more, um, but I'm just scared to do that in case I like look weird or feel weird and don't like it, but I don't know, I'm not quite sure what to do, what do you think? asking as well because I know you're out there yes I am training in flip-flops why you ask because I own this joint that's why <laughs> it's also the reason for the lack of car footage in today's video the fact that I'm wearing flip-flops would mean a close-up on my feet that you're just staring at them going like this for like 12 seconds and that'd just be a bit weird Right, right, right. I think that'll do for today. I was gonna do some like shoulder press or dumbbells or something, I don't know. I just got caught up training legs. Who'd have thought anyone would say that, ever? It's a good thing, do not skip them, man. Oh, it's under the mat, there we go. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Too much back that way. That's alright, isn't it? Much further that way. Hang on. There. Yep. Cool.
Manchester, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. You What is he wearing? Right, predictions. Hi everyone, by the way. Hope you're doing good. I missed the earlier fights because I was at work. But my predictions are, I mean, Jake Paul's already won. Um, and I think everybody knew that that was going to happen. My prediction is, is that both Paul brothers are going to win this time round. And then both KSI and Deji are going to have a rematch with the Paul brothers. The same match, fight, you know what I mean. A rematch. A, re <laughs> a rematch. They're both going to have a rematch, but then both KSI and Deji are going to win. So both the Paul brothers are going to win this time, but then Deji and KSI are going to win next time. I think I just said that four or five times. What is that mask? He can't say that. Someone's going to guard him. Yeah. For the U2 World Championship. <laughs> it's a thing now. <laughs> The YouTube World Championships! Go on, say it. Go on. Say it. Say it. Let's get ready to rumble! Woo! I'm gassed. I'm actually gassed. Off we go. A few moments later. I've not watched this build up for months to get a f***ing draw. He's got to give it to KSI. This is too They're going to call this a draw. I know they are. They're going to have built this up for months and months and months and force a rematch and loads more millions because it's a draw. Oh, this is some bullshit. 